Welcome to Oracle new feature video series. In this video, we'll see a new API introduced from 12.1 that is DBMS utility dot expand SQL text. So here is the documentation of expand SQL text procedure. So basically what this new API will do is whenever a query has a view references or if there is a nested level of views used in a query and if you want to know the actual SQL that is executed in the backend then this particular API will replace all the references of the view with its underlying subquery. You can see this procedure replaces all the references of the view with the corresponding view subquery. So the a from API uh, syntax it's very simple. It just takes one input that is the what of the SQL we want to replace. We just need to give us an input. The expanded SQL it just returns as the out argument. Okay let us Okay, the, uh, first of all, the question is why we need to expand the uh, select statement which contains a view is that typically when you are doing a performance tuning of a, a query which has lot of view references, then you, you should know like what is the actual query getting executed in the backend. Then only you will be able to know like uh, whether you will be able to uh, replace certain portion of the query or you can rewrite by using any other technology, any other uh, way. Okay, so for that it is very much essential to know what is the actual query getting executed. So prior to this version, typically if you want to uh, know the SQL, we'll just manually replace the references of the view with the underlying uh, query. But that's a bit tedious process because typically in a real time, the view will have uh, quite a bigger query. And in case the view can refer from another view. So that becomes a, uh, it, it's not a, that easy task to replace all these things. Though we will be manually doing, now we don't have to do manually. Now we have the ready to use API that is the DBMS utility dot expand SQL text is readily available. Okay, let us see the uh, demo of this through a simple example. So I, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to write a query from an based on the employee table to list the uh, list to list the um, uh, employees who is getting the maximum salary in each department and minimum salary in each department. Let me reiterate the question the scenario again. Uh, I'm going to write a query or I'm going to fetch from a view to list the employees having uh, employees getting a maximum salary in each department as well as employees getting minimum salary in each department. Okay, though we can write in a simple uh, single query just to understand the usage of this particular API. I'm just going to uh, write through few view and I'm just going to use the view in the subsequent view. The first query I'm going to write is the before getting the uh, list of employees who is getting a maximum or minimum salary. First, we need to calculate what is the maximum salary as per department as well as what is the minimum salary as per the department. So here is a simple query which just computes the maximum salary as per department. You can see here same way the minimum salary as per department. Very simple query. We are using the aggregate function here. So I'm just making this as a view now. So I'm just saying create or replace view department wise max min sal view. Now the view is created. Let me just query from the view. Now we'll be able to query the information from the view. Okay, so the expected answer is not this. In fact, we want to get the list of employees who is getting the maximum as well as the list of employees who is getting the minimum salary. So next I'm going to write another query, which I'm just going to join with the employee table and the view what we have previously created to get the list of employees who is getting the maximum salary. So now we have got the list of employees who is getting the maximum salary here. Now I'm just going to make this also as a view. So the view is created. So let me just query from the view. So here is the list of employees who is getting the maximum salary. Same way I'm just joining the first view with the employee to get the minimum salary information. So let me just first write the query. So here the query is ready. Let us just make this as a view. So another view just to get the list of employees who is getting the minimum salary. Now we have actually two different view. One view gives the list of employee who is getting the maximum salary. Another view which is just giving the list of employees who is getting the minimum salary. So now we just want to combine all, both these information and just want to display as a single result set. So we can basically use a set operator. So as you can see here, I'm just selecting the information from a maximum sal view and minimum sal view. And I'm just displaying it as a single information so that we can make this as a view so that this information is presented as a single result set. As you can see here, now we have one final view, which is just giving the list of information of uh, um, employees getting maximum 
as well as the list of employees who is getting the minimum salary okay now that we have one final query called select star from emp max min salary but the question here is what is the actual underlying query because now this particular view is based on two more view and those two more views are actually based on another view and that particular view is based on the base table okay now if you want to replace this recursively manually we will be copying in the uh, view subquery and we'll be just replacing instead of we doing all these things we just have a ready to use api just before seeing the um, usage of the api let us just understand a little bit in detail so just to uh, understand better about the view what i have created the first view i've created is the department wise maximum and minimum salary it is just based on the employee table on top of this i've created one more view which just gives the list of employees who is getting only the maximum salary as you can see here i'm getting the information from the employee as well as from this view now this particular view get the information from the underlying base view same way i'm creating another view which will just get the information of the employees getting minimum salary so now we are again getting the information from underlying view joining with the employee uh, table to get the information on minimum salary employee list now we have maximum salary employee list as well as minimum salary employee list in the final uh, view we are just combining both the max sal view and the minimum sal view as you can see here this particular view gets the information from here same way this particular view gets the information from this underlying uh, view now the final query is the select star from this particular view okay now if we want to replace recursively basically this but first view has to be replaced with this and again we need to replace both these views again we need to replace with the final view so this is a bit tedious process both in this example this is very simple but it typically in a real time um, queries it's a bit tedious process instead we can just start using the api now we'll see how to use the api so here is the anonymous block we just need to use the dbms utility dot expand sql text so this is the new api available as part of dbms utility package so it takes one input parameter so whatever the query you want to replace just give so this is a clob input the output is also clob so make sure you have a variable of clob type and just assign to the out variable now let me just execute this block once you execute it you will be getting the expanded sql text just copy your sql and just format it you will be able to see the actual underlying sql now if you see the the complete uh, view queries replaced recursively with all the uh, base tables informations so the key learning here is the dbm is utility dot expand sql text it basically have one input parameter where you just need to give the sql statement to be replaced the expanded sql will be available as part of the uh, out argument thanks for watching the video if you have learned something new please like this subscribe and stay tuned for new feature videos interview questions concept videos tips and tricks. Thanks a lot for watching.